Hello, it's me from the future. I'm here to um, just tell you guys really quickly that the video you're about to see was actually filmed in May 2020 and right now we're in January of 2021, which I think May 2020 was the peak of the pandemic when things really hit the fan. Somebody fact check me. I don't know who really knows at this point. I don't know. But yes, disclaimer, this video was filmed long ago and this is how much my hair has grown since then. If you do want a video on how I've gotten my hair this long in that amount of time, please comment that down below and let me know. Once you've done that, don't forget to like and subscribe and put your nose put click your post notifications so that you are up to date with what i post and then you can know when i do post that video about how i got my hair this long and i hope you enjoy the video hey guys welcome back to my channel if you clicked on today's video and you see the title of the video I cut all of my hair off. Now, this is the look, okay? This is the result. Is this like little curls sticking up? I can't tell. I wanted to film this to just kind of talk about why I did it, how it feels to do it, what I want to get out of this journey, how I feel about myself after I did it, my own journey, kind of highlighting that a little bit with you guys, and just kind of going on this little journey with you. I kind of tried in the beginning of my YouTube career, kind of tried to do a, a journey video, and then I kind of realized like my hair is not even, I wanted to do the journey when it was like fully starting from fresh, and then, you know. I feel like there's a lot of big chop videos on YouTube, but there's not a lot of conversation. Maybe I'm just not watching that many videos. Just wanted to have like a girl chat moment or guy chat. I've always had really long hair. I don't really know if you want to say really long. Maybe like up to here. It's just always been like that. You know, I've had like my own, my own curly hair battles. When I really got to college was when I started embracing the curls. And I learned to love the curls and not really like fiend for a straight hair to look i don't really know how else to describe that but i was just kind of vibing off of my environment everyone had straight hair it's like the most most presentable thing you can wear wherever you go interviews and all that and then i slowly started learning that dead that you know dead that narrative that's not needed when i saw my curly hair i loved it so much and it, it was a it was a journey it was a battle i bleached it you know i've had straight hair for a really long time not like born with straight hair but kind of like um, what's the word for it? Maneuvering it that way, trying to make it as straight as possible. I was just told that that's the most presentable thing. Like, like curly your hair is really presentable. It's not really nice, clean. You know, it's like really bad stereotypes. Obviously, you can wear curly hair now. You can wear afros. You can wear everything. You don't really need to succumb to this idea of society where curly hair is not cute or curly hair is not professional. It definitely is. And I've had those tug of war moments where I've been like, do you go to an interview with your hair straight or curly? And after a while, I was like, F that, you know, it's like, it's me. My hair is me and I'm not going to sit here and have someone deny me. Like, I felt like it was the most shallow thing to hear someone tell me, you know, you need to go to interviews with your hair straight. And I'll just be like, why though? It's like, curly hair is me. If you can't accept me for my hair... That's just weird. It's like my hair is like, besides the point of my hair being me, it's like I am me. It's like I am I go to work to do my job. I don't go to work to show you my hair. You know, it's like my hair it just shouldn't, my hair shouldn't explain to you how my work ethic is going to be. So after a while, I started embracing my curly hair. I loved it so much. You know, I especially loved it when it was like nice blonde. You know, some people have known me to have the honey color going on, some blonde and I'll enter pictures on the screen as we talk. I've been curly hair, like kind of like natural basically, which means for me, the definition of that would be straightening my hair maybe like once every three weeks. I started my curly hair like transitioning to natural around a freshman year of college. It got to the point where my hair guys smelled burnt every time I washed it, no matter how much conditioner, no matter how much leave in everything, you know, I was straightening my hair kind of every other day to go to class and it was just, it was a bad habit and it was really bad and it was clearly not healthy for my hair. I was forcing something on my hair that it was just not, it, it's not what my hair is designed for. So I began appreciating my hair and treating it the way it should have been treated a long time ago. You know, there were times where I, I you know, when I would want to dye it, it would be um, kind of just trying to research um, healthy dyeing methods or healthy products for your curls so that my curls didn't go to waste after all this time of just growing it out, you know. And here and there, and kind of I would just do layers by myself or the salon, you know. Sometimes I, there was times I went to the salon to just get touch up on my cut like my layers not even to go straighten my hair 
and I loved it. I loved it so much, and I loved seeing my hair progress going out into pictures here. It was a beautiful thing. I felt beautiful, and I just felt like this is the real me. You know, I don't, I don't need to hide that. I don't need to not go to interviews and just be like, you know, and, and it was a thing of like, I'd go to interviews and people would be like, the interviewers would be like, wow, your hair is so cool. Like, I love your hair. Wow. And it was like a part of my personality. If you see me, you know my hair and you know it was me. Like, if you see me in the hallway, you know it was me because you saw my hair. I'm 22 now and I've had my fair share of the hair situation. In my most recent video, you guys saw my hair there, right? It was turned, I turned it red okay now the red hair didn't prompt me to cut all my hair off it was just like listen especially what's going on going on around me and around us you know with the whole virus situation quarantine um i am still in college so there i was interfered with that situation what the heck was that girl anyway i was presented with that situation of where we couldn't go to class anymore i don't know like my hair was a big part of my what i considered my beauty you know my face i feel like it's a very great feature on my body like not even trying to be cocky but just being honest and open with you guys right now so it was a very important thing to me to make sure my hair looked good because if, if my hair looked bad i was gonna have a bad day and i felt ugly that day like period and i know many women or many people have felt this way too after we were kind of just in quarantine and home and just kind of realizing like you know I mean, I look good whenever my hair looks great, you know, and it's growing out, whatever. But I wanted something different, and I kind of felt like I've always had this want that I do want to cut my hair, all my hair off at one point in my life when I'm younger, so that when I'm older and I turn into an auntie one day and I whatever, you know, um, that my hair, like, I would know what I would look like. You know, I turn into a mom one day, I would know what that hairstyle would look like on me early on. Yeah, you know, I just kind of put... I just put, I took the situation that was going on around us and I was like, no one's really, like, I don't have to be somewhere. Honestly, you know, the hours at work were cut and I wasn't going to a classroom every day, which is where most of my social interaction was going anyway. Um, and I was kind of just coming home and just staying home. And I said, you know what, if I'm going to do this cut, there's no other time than now where if it really does look like a hot ass mess, I could just, um stay home because they ain't know where I gotta go. I gotta go to work, I gotta go to school. I can just go to YouTube, you know, and obviously I gotta uh, present myself and address the big elephant in the room, which is the haircut. So I was just like, you know, if it looks a mess, I got a wig, I got a few wigs. I have a curly haired wig, which I was trying to find today to film a different video, but like I couldn't find it. So anyways, I was just like, I'm just gonna style this, okay? Okay. That was kind of what was going through my head at the time. I was like, there's no other time than now. And like I expressed earlier, you know, going and presenting myself, my hair is a big part of me. And I kind of knew in the back of my head that doing a big chop like that, you do kind of lose a part of yourself. And it kind of was like, it gives you, it just like a revelation, honestly. And I'm going to get into that next. So the day of that I cut it, you know, it was kind of like a, I know myself. So I was like, I kind of just got to do it and just not think about it and just kind of go hard. So my hair, like I said, it was red. And I kind of just started snipping, period. Like, that's all I did. And I was just cutting and cutting. And my boyfriend came in and helped me finish. And it's a lot of hair. My hair's always been really thick. I kind of just cut. And I just cut and I just cut. And it was for a few minutes. Probably like 30 minutes cutting. Um, just straight scissors. Um, and then at the end he finished. What's it called? The You know, you know what I'm talking about. First of all, girl, yeah, my hair's been growing back. So it's doing a lot of this. I don't know what that is. So that's how it happened, you know, that's how kind of, I, I kind of did it in the bathroom, just kind of was like, it's like 2 or 3 in the morning. I just immediately, and the reason I'm not looking at the cameras is I'm just kind of thinking back. I was just like, I felt, I felt so free and I'm really going to have a heart to heart with you right now because I don't think a lot of people talk about how it feels to do a big chop, how empowering it is as a woman to do the big chop and how I felt like I just I kind of looked at myself and I was like ew like what is going on because obviously it wasn't styled or anything so I looked like my little brother like please the big chop you know you just work for physical obvious reasons you know your hair is off your back you kind of just feel more free and it's kind of like a what do you do now kind of feeling you know my boyfriend just looked at me and was kind of just laughing we're kind of just laughing at each other like what the heck just happened and if you're gonna do a big chop I think it'll be fun to do it with someone with you 
just so that you can go with someone through the journey and just kind of feel not so lonely because it is a very vulnerable feeling like I don't know if anyone talks about how like how like not like empty but like free like whoa like it's like a vulnerable feeling you know and to have someone with you there is very very great for me maybe some people don't feel this way about the big chubbers like hair is hair whatever and I kind of was like well if I cut my hair off I've always seen it come back and it's really thick so I don't have any doubt that it's gonna come back and be its natural self and if it doesn't hey that's completely fine you know and that's another thing about the big chop is no one talks about um, or maybe this is just how I felt but I really found another definition of beauty for myself and I reached a different type of confidence in myself. So I feel very humbled. I feel very like my hair isn't me anymore. Like my hair is a part of me. My hair doesn't define me, you know, and I, I, was, I, was, I, know, I, I know I look a little okay, you know, with the haircut, but the haircut doesn't define me. This doesn't mean that this is my hair forever. Like, do you guys know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I don't know comment down below if you know what I'm talking about I just it, it kind of just made me realize like there's so many different versions of myself that I can be and that I can stand in and still feel confident in you know and it was just such a such a beautiful feeling like I never felt that before a feeling of like you know you're capable of doing so much you know with your looks and your beauty and who you are as a person and I, it just kind of made me appreciate myself more and appreciate my hair and kind of how strong it is and how powerful it is and how thick and how curly you know it kind of made me appreciate how many forms it could take on as well so I kind of felt really much closer to my hair you No, know, definitely as days went by there were times where I was like I hate this why did I do this but overall I've had more days where I'm just like I'm so proud of myself for doing this I feel confident I feel like my age like I feel like I look my age or maybe y'all think I don't maybe I look older right now but I'm 22 like I said and I feel I feel really great I feel in my age I feel like I look it when you do the big chop there's also something you gotta know like some days you're gonna feel like hey, and that's fine okay especially those days where you don't have makeup on and you just woke up okay like it's fine it's natural like i said it's been a humbling experience okay because like you know waking up with like an afro is kind of cute you know we're not gonna lie we're not gonna see her in line it's kind of cute so when you wake up and your hair is looking like you look like a man literally and your hair is just like looking all over the place um and you got no makeup on it's really like the raw the rawest form of yourself which is why i've been able to appreciate my beauty kind of more that's kind of why i really emphasize how important the big shop has been to me it's been like a month since i did it i think coming up now i don't know if you guys know but i'm a plus size girl because i really don't show my body on youtube but i am a plus size girl so there is that kind of tug of war i feel like some plus size girls have is like do i do the big chalk chop or will i look chubbier will my face not look good for the hairstyle that really wasn't my concern like i said i was like i'm not going anywhere so it's fine but my friends really liked it and they're just like it's so you it's so beautiful i'm a virgo so i kind of just feel like i look like a virgo now i don't know if you're into astrology you know what i mean so i just kind of feel like you know this feels like me this looks like me but i do miss my hair i do miss my my fro because i feel like that was me too so after I did it, like I said, and after how I felt, I just feel like, well, now I know how I look when I'm older, when I'm an auntie or a mommy, and, you know, I'm really proud of myself. But definitely when I cut it off, there's mad red hair left, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that looked like a hot mess, honestly. So I just dyed it back to my natural hair, and my hopes for this journey is just, like, moving forward, is I just hope my hair, you know comes back to its like truest truest form and i'm really excited to see that um because although i've been doing a curly hair journey there still has been times where my hair was dyed or i had the like leftover bleach in it or you know i would have straightened my hair so there's sometimes some curls that are kind of like straighter than the other um another thing too to note too is that my hair is multi-textured um which means i just have like two different curl patterns so it's it's been really interesting to see kind of like where those curl patterns form and where they don't and now i know and it's really cool to see if you've been wanting to do the big chop like and you have to like the multi-textured hair i think it's been so cool to see that you know it's like i know that like and i know what parts of my head is like frizzier than 
whatever but seeing it like at its little roots it's been really cool to see seeing to where my hair grows quicker and where it doesn't like this side of my hair has been growing quicker than the other side which is like it's so interesting it's really cool it's just fascinating to learn that about your body my journey as far as that goes i'm just looking forward just to see it like i said in its full healthiest form like probably the healthiest form has been since i was like a child maybe like 10 years old or something you know so like I'm just really excited for that. Um, will I dye my hair again? Probably. Like, the blonde curls kind of go hard, so I can't let that look go. <laughs> so, if you're looking into doing the big chop, please don't let anyone else's opinion, like, make that decision for you. You know, sit down with yourself and say, is this something I want to do? It is a big thing. And I don't know how people just cut their hair and just like, oh, it's whatever. It's like... I don't know maybe I'm just an emotional person but it's been such an emotional thing for me and such a thing of growth and I feel so mature I, I feel like I look mature and you know and it's like I don't want you guys to think I'm just sitting here saying I hated my afro I love my afro I was like I look so fun when I have my afro I look young you know I, it looks like I got good hair obviously curly hair healthy hair um but I could still be all of that with the short box the short little whatever you want to call this little sponge i don't know this is not a bob obviously come on now yeah guys like take that risk like this is i think i've done like a few risks in my life up to this point um some big ones but this is like been the most recent one and i don't regret it and it's been really interesting kind of just learning how to restyle my hair but how much product to put in my hair because when you go from mad hair to like nothing and you're just like you get all this gel in your hair and you're like wait i didn't need that much uh it's just so like it's like it's learning stuff and just it's been a learning journey and like i don't have to wash my hair as often you know and i have to detangle my hair which is like yes <laughs> i can just like brush it washing my hair takes two minutes versus like 30 minutes in the shower and the hair dries quicker it's like i don't even use a diffuser sometimes but i never really did in the past but like it's just things like that. Think about it, you know, and give yourself that chance to see how you stand in your beauty, you know, in whatever face that may be and be able to be vulnerable with yourself. I think it's really important to just be yourself. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how else to word it. I'm just like, I would just want to grab you guys by like the arms and be like, try it, please. It's so fun. If you're contemplating it, just go for it. Like if it's in your mind, you got to just do it. And if you're young, even more reason to do it. You know, you're young, your hair will probably grow back faster if you hate it. And it's like you have no kids, you know, there wouldn't be hair loss. I don't know. I don't want to like get into the details of that like health wise, but just do it you know it feels so liberating and getting ready is so much faster am i gonna keep cutting my hair as it grows out no i'm just kind of like even it out and just get to my fro back to normal like i said i just want to see it at its at its most healthiest state and i will be documenting that and sharing that with you guys so if you like today's video please leave a like and a comment if you feel compelled to do this with me um if not you know if you're just gonna still want to think about it take your time i want you to just feel confident you know and i feel like if you're looking right now for a way to just kind of feel confident again or just kind of like an experiment i feel like this is the best way to go honestly just stay home cut your hair and you're like well what now <laughs> so like i said thank you for watching and if you like this video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i hope i see you in the next one um, and I hope you enjoy it.